Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com. And today we're gonna to talk about the basics of color theory. And really, I think the first and most important topic inside of color theory is the idea of a pleasing and balanced color scheme. Because as you can see by this wheel here, there's tons of choices. And if you use all of them, well, it won't be very balanced. It'll look like a rainbow. There's a lot of ways to go about choosing a color palette but there are some handy color schemes that are some general guidelines which will help you get started. The first one I'm gonna talk about is analogous, and this is as basic as it gets. To see this in action, let's take a look at some of Scott Robertson's paintings. This first painting here is a great example of an analogous color scheme, and all that means is that the colors he used are very tightly grouped inside of the color wheel and he's using a variety of different saturated and desaturated, which means more and less vibrant versions of these colors, but they're all basically the same colors. And as a result, he's got a very pleasing composition. So if you're just starting out, an analogous color scheme is a very safe bet. And here we've got another analogous color scheme, although this one is a bit wider. And you can see that there's a very vibrant red this is sort of the key color in the image, and it stands out. So there's a lot of desaturated violets and blues and grays, and then a very strong red. But they're all still pretty close to one another on the color wheel, so they're going to work harmoniously. Now if you want to branch out a bit, you might try playing a cool color off of a warm color. So if you look at the color wheel, one half are warm colors, and the other half are cool. So the next color scheme is called a complementary color scheme. And in this painting, you can see there's a lot of blue, but also some orange and some desaturated orange. And it just so happens that blue and orange are across from one another on the color wheel. And this is how you generate a complementary color scheme. You start on one side of the color wheel, pick any anchor color that you like, and then look directly across, and you've got its complement. But one of the reasons that this painting works so well is that it doesn't have a lot of bright orange. There's a fair amount of water, which is saturated blue, but then most of the boat is pretty gray. And only here and there are there actually hot spots of bright orange. So just picking blue and orange as a complementary color scheme doesn't guarantee that it's gonna work nicely. Next, you have to find a very pleasing balance of saturation. And generally that means mostly desaturated and then here and there highlighting areas with a bit more punch, a little extra saturation. So I'll be talking about different color schemes in future videos, but looking at these two images, you can see that even blue orange complementary color scheme can mean a lot of different things. And when you go to make your own color schemes, remember to be subtle. Try incorporating the brightest, most vibrant colors into your focal point. It'll help draw the reader's attention. But if you do too much color everywhere, it'll all feel very flat. All the paintings that you saw in today's video are painted by a guy named Scott Robertson. If you're looking for inspiration, this is a great guy to turn to. You can find him online at cargocollective.com slash drawthrough or buy one of his books. These art books are awesome inspiration. I have a few on my bookshelf, and I'm always flipping through them, looking for cool industrial design stuff. And he's actually got a new book coming out soon called Blast, which looks to be just as cool as all the others. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for future videos.